An early morning and an early start. We finally got to bed at a decent hour and we don't wake up to rain, fog, or inclement weather. The plants have been growing rather nicely and the cabbage that we have is going to last us quite some time so long as we have generators uh, to keep it powered. Our refrigerator, of course. And that's what our big focus is going to be on today, or at least a large chunk of it, to ensure that we can still figure out a way to keep our cabbage fresh. We're going to be checking to see how our gas usage was, our gas usage was overnight, and then maybe continue working on the wall as we continue to really fortify our living quarters. Welcome back to Zomboid, everybody. And I'm sorry for a little bit of a delay in Zomboid. Uh, I had some, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know this, but if you don't, hey, you should, because it's an easy way for me to update you viewers, of course. You can go to twitter.com slash mathisgames. Um, but I've had some pet problems recently. One of my cats has fallen rather ill over the past few days uh, and has been incredibly stressful trying to figure out what's wrong with the poor girl. Uh, hopefully I'll have answers the day of this recording, but I don't know uh, what those answers are yet and it has been a long, stressful process that has exhausted me to no end. Luckily, I've gotten, I had a, a bit of a VOD from the GTA RP stuff and I've had Dean highlighting that to take some of the, the weight off needing to get content up on the channel over the past few days but it certainly has weighed down on me. Now, luckily, it seems that people have at least enjoyed the GTA RP videos and want more of them, so whenever I can get them, I will. Uh, but I, I would be lying if I didn't say I've been, you know, struggling and, and stressed out about getting um, some footage up here as well. Uh, it's just one of those things that I... There's nothing I can do about it. And I just want to thank you for your patience while I kind of deal with that and whatnot. But hopefully we'll be getting on a regular schedule. And hopefully by, you know, day's end today, I'll actually have an answer as to what's going on with my poor girl, uh, Maya. Right now, in case you're curious, she is happily sleeping in her bed, uh, seemingly comfortable right now. And, and she has been eating and drinking and everything. So at least she's not like, you know, doing terribly or anything like that. It's just been stressful and uh, my animals come first and... If I have to put work aside for a little while just to ensure that they get what they need, then so be it. And if, I, if I'm if i not, you know, going to be in a recording state of mind where my excitement comes through while I'm doing all this stuff, then I'm not going to record. It's just not how it's going to happen. Um, it is what it is, and I'm okay with it. That's life. It's all good. So, what is going to be the big goal today? Well, we're almost done with the wall. We could likely finish that. Michael Garcia desperately does want to. But as we see the... Uh, the generator is now down to like 63% fuel. That is now suddenly a priority, especially as we farm more and more and we desperately need to keep our food fresh. Farming is going to be a massive, massive important thing for us uh, to last long in this game. And uh, if we're not going to be able to do that, then we're going to die. We're going to die of starvation. And now that we have cabbage, we want to make sure we're pretty exclusively sitting and using that cabbage first before we try and eat anything else. So how are we going to do that? How are we going to manage to keep our food fresh? Well, we kind of already mentioned the answer, and uh, it's going to be keeping our generator running at all times. But that does mean that we have to now worry about regular usage of gasoline. And that is going to be a big one for us. How are we going to manage that? How are we going to keep all this food fresh? Well, in order to get more gasoline, we need to get gas out of a gas station. In order to get gas out of a gas station when power is down, we need to hook up a generator. So what are we going to do? Well, I think the goal for me is to get a couple of gas cans, load them into the vehicle, and find ourselves a new generator. Not the one that we have sitting at home, but one that's, uh, that's going to be near the gas station or one that could be in a building nearby. Hook it up. Put some gas in it, and whenever we need gasoline, we can turn the generator on, and then we can leave the generator there whenever we don't, uh, whenever uh, we leave, and we can just turn the generator off. It doesn't sound like that bad of a project, and in fact, you know, with, with all the studying that Michael Garcia has been doing, very doable, I think. So, uh, let's go ahead and throw our gas cans in the trunk of our car. There we go, and we've got four empty gas cans here and two in our inventory. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the trunk, hopefully. We'll speed up everything here. It's taking a while. There we go. And we're going to go looking for gas, uh, some generators. Now, we can turn this off. No problem. And we know how to get where we want to go. 
And we did recently fill this, so we were good on gas here. So we're gonna look around for a generator. I know there was a few, and I don't expect it to be too difficult to find one. Actually, now that I'm thinking, I think there was one back this way. So let's go this way. And uh, if we can get one, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick it up and throw it in the back seat. And we're gonna bring it there. It should just be an easy hookup. And then we should have a generator all set up. I do believe there was a generator over in one of these houses over here. A couple of lingering Zeds. It's gonna kind of work our way. I, ooh, is that one right there, actually? Ooh. There is a lot of zombies nearby. We've got a bunch walking through the woods there, but I think that's a generator. So this might be exactly what I need. So I'll make sure we're not getting surrounded. And we can just start stomping. I don't want to use our bat if we don't have to. It's already very broken. Okay, I don't see anything else. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna take care of her as well. There's another one running around in there. Hope you guys have been following the Project Zomboid updates. The next build is getting real close, it seems. And man, is the animation update looking phenomenal. It looks like it's gonna change the game so, so drastically. All right, yeah, we do have a generator in here. Uh, let's see if it's got any gas in it. No fuel, but that's okay. We'll fill the building with toxic fumes when operated here. Oh, cool, I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. Well, we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna carry this thing back. We're gonna keep an eye on our health. We're probably gonna start taking damage by carrying this thing, it's so effing heavy. How much does this thing weigh? 12? Do we have room in the back? We do. Oh, but we have to, we have to drive it because we can't take it out of our hands. So we're gonna keep our health up. We're gonna head towards the gas station. Ugh, I gotta be careful about running over those bodies. Man, there's a lot over here. Ooh, what is happening? All right, hang on. Oh, gunshot, of course. All right, let's drop this. On the ground, let's get our bat out. Or knife. Let's clean up. Yeah, this is a problem. I'm glad we decided to swing back this way. Should be a nice, quick, clean fix. Why are we so over... Oh, because of the backpacks. There we go. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I help you? You looking to sell anything? Not interested right now. So if you could just hit the ground. Well, I don't like that. We've just ordained our walls with blood. And there's one over here. Again, we don't need to fast kill them. We're not looking to take out a huge group or anything, so we're just gonna chase her down. See if I can knock her on there. If we can't, back up, please. We'll do that if she's not gonna fall over. Okay, looks pretty clear. We might not be getting a lot of activity over here because we did clear the area out rather thoroughly. Mr. Garcia is uh, very detail-oriented when he gets his mind set on something. So we're gonna go ahead and take the generator. Oops. <gasps> Take the generator. In we go. There we go. This engine has served us well, and this car in general served us well. We also do want to get uh, a new car running for us, obviously. We want something that we can use to plow through a bunch of baddies clean up some zombies along the way. A nice ramming vehicle, so to speak. But as of right now, um, I if we kind of need to take care of the bare, the bare bones, the basics, right? Getting, getting gas uh, flowing like the spice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's just glide gently past. Yeah, the gunshot is drawn from quite far away, it seems. That's all right, it's all right, we're fine. All right, this is gonna be very interesting. 
There's a lot here. All right, um, let's park about here-ish. Maybe not. We're gonna be all right. Let's 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 pull back a bit. We could honk the horn, see if we can pull him away. Oof, that's a classic song. Wow, look at how many. Can we put on the sirens? We're just gonna honk the horn and draw them as many of them as away as we can. This way! This way. That should be enough to get their attention. Okay. Holy crap, look at them all. Ooh, boy. All right, we'll pull back quite far. We'll do one more. Okay. Now we're gonna try and turn around and get by them all. Thread the needle. Thread the needle. Yeah, they're all going that way at least, which is great. Just gonna try not to draw the attention of too many. Man, that is tempting to try and drive through. Wow. We did actually draw a huge number of them out. It's all right, we're fine. Swing past the trees where they can't see us anymore. Glide in. Turn the car off and just wait. We're okay, we have some damage, but we're all right. Are they gonna start banging on our car? Yeah, they are. So we're gonna go ahead and unequip this. Equip this as secondary. Okay. Equip primary knife and we're gonna start cleaning what we can. Holy crap. All right, this is gonna be rough. Not impossible. As long as we remain calm. Pop some beta blockers to keep the panic low. Okay. Do we have another knife in case we run out of this one? I don't think we do. I thought we did, but I think we might have left it back. Oh, we've got two more here. We're gonna take these out and we're just gonna clear. One at a time. Drawing all the... One, back. We're a little over encumbered. Let's pop a, a, that's actually a wrench in the bag. Let's throw a bat in our bag. Four. We've done four before. We can do this. Push. Push. Stop. Okay, he's dead. A little chaotic with our tactics, but it's it's worked. We have somebody in there. Two out here. They went in the back. It's okay. Again, we don't really need to worry too much about in there, so. Okay. We'll push and knife him if we can. Down. Down. Okay, another one over here. We're gonna get this place hooked up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Many. Can't risk it. Can't risk the knife breaking here. So we might swap. I wish we could dual wield knives, but no such luck. We'll keep throwing them back. Okay, I'm fine with that. hardened man who has spent more time than he cares to admit cleaning areas out of zombies and now another one has to go down oh god we're good these are fast very 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 fast oh shit another two three
back. Surprised they didn't die right away from uh, being stabbed, but I probably didn't take into account how uh, how strong he is. Okay, let's uh, let's swing in. Pop out the other end. Did I bring soda? Did I bring any food? I don't think I did. There comes a point where I have to think, is this worth it? How much work we're putting into this? Is it worth the stress? There's still so many zombies just fucking coming out of the woodworks. Look at them all, man. Look at them all. All right. If we can just get it set up. Maybe that'll be our best bet here. I don't know if we can connect it from here. I doubt it. Connect it. Is it working? Okay. It's connected. Come on. Over here. I need you away from my car. Alright, next best plan. Let's see if we can drag them into... Uh, across the street. I just need that open enough where I can access it and see if it'll work. Drag them away, take a wide, wide berth, and come around the wide end. Slowly walk around the edges. The sweat's in, the sweat in his palm can be felt. The grip on his knife is looser than he'd like, and the nerves are certainly starting to get to him. But Michael Garcia is, if anything, stubborn. He's made that clear over his months surviving this world. If he can just get this place up and running, then we will have gas at our disposal pretty much whenever we need it. Please die. Now. Let's see if we can get this running and see if it works, because right now we can't get anything there. I just want to grab one gas can. And it seems like we've at least moved them all enough. Well, we're going to be safe. Take fuel. Beautiful. It works. Now, it's going to cause noise. So when we're here, we need to just do what we need to do and then get out. Please. Do you, are you going to fall ever? Alright, let's see if we can put some fuel in here. Oh, no. Okay. Knife, please. One, two, good. This is going to work. It's actually going to work. I'm, I'm mildly impressed. Okay, let's get some gas. Nothing's arrived. I just want to bring it back. We healed up pretty nice. So we actually have a, a, a solid source of, oh, okay, gasoline now. She glided in quick at times two speed. <laughs> oh. 
in. Another one. Honestly, the rumbling of the generator is gonna be our biggest attractor for right now. So we do need to be keeping an eye out. Maybe going times two speed is potentially a little too dangerous. Gonna go ahead and can that music, unfortunately. Still a bit, a bit too much. Just keep doing this, I guess. <laughs> okay. How many do I got? Two more cans left? Let's do it. Okay, that's all of our gas cans that we took. Whew. So this is all we need to do. If we want regular gas, this is how we're gonna have to do it. Which is really, really nice and very, very convenient. We're a little over encumbered. By a little, I mean extremely. But our health is all right. Come on. There we go. Let's get out of here. Now that is a feeling of just accomplishment and relief running through Mike Garcia's mind now. Another, another problem solved. We have ways to collect water now that we have the experience and knowledge on how to build what we need. We have a way to keep gas running uh, regularly, so our farming situation is going to be sustainable. And this is a... And our wall situation is almost done, which we can probably finish as well. And our first big, big projects, like all of them, are going to be done and taken care of. So, let's just bring the car up here. We'll probably refill our generator. But we also want to just kind of store it all if we can. Okay, so that's going to be fill up now. We're super hungry. And we're going to store everything else. I am so happy with our situation. This is genuinely turning out well. We got a little, we had a little bit of a roadblock, but it wasn't even that bad. We were able to deal with it with the tools we had at hand. Okay, let's head upstairs and eat real quick. Oh, we can finally move quickly. Those knives also helped massively. I forget how useful they can be for quick instant kills when we need them. We're gonna have a couple pieces of cabbage here. We'll probably run the... I imagine we'll run the generator at night to keep things fresh. We might even want to run it while we're here. Uh, we are a little tired too, but that's all right. Moderate exertion is acceptable for our current current position. We're actually getting pretty nimble, which means it's going to be very difficult for zombies. We're not very difficult with only one point, but more difficult, should I say, for zombies to get our hand their hands on us. All right. Let's just grab all the gas. Extremely heavy load. There's a joke there. There's a joke there that I want to make, but I can't. YouTube will ban me. And by ban me, I mean probably restrict the money we make. So let's keep not doing that. Let's try to keep our, our language acceptable. Is that 27? Okay, that's going to be full. So we're going to want to go over here now. Hell yeah, baby. Boom. That is so, 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 so good. All right, how many planks do we got? Let's turn this thing on as night comes. Let's uh, let's make sure that we are keeping our food fresh. Generator's a little injured. Um, that might be something we need to worry about at some point. So let's see. Two planks and four nails. We have enough for actually doing one right now. So let's go ahead and pop up another wall. Ooh, we can do a level two wall. We have no reason not to. 
It's gonna be better for us anyway. And we just need a bunch of planks. We know we have some up here. Uh, we need two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten more planks total. Not sure we have ten waiting for us up here, but we'll see. We are gonna need to start growing some food again soon. We have 80 cabbage, so it's gonna be okay. So that's one wall. That'll be two walls because we have one sitting back. Bunch of nails on the ground if we need them. Let's just, just grab what we can. Four, uh, six, eight. We're almost at Matt. Yeah, we can get all of our planks here. So we will. We should be able to walk back relatively safely. This place is nice and empty. All right, and then with this last hammering of the nails, our wall, while mismatching slightly, is complete. And we can actually, it just takes one plank to upgrade, so we should just upgrade where we can. And, uh, we now are much, much, much safer than we were before. The walls have been completed. A regular flow of gasoline has been established. Farming has been productive and filled our refrigerator with food. It may not be the world we once knew, but hell, if this doesn't start feeling like home to us.